Hi Felters and welcome to Felts by Philippa. Today we're going to make these really cute little minis, sheep and highland cow. Why do I call them minis? Because they are mini versions of my bigger items. So we're going to do the sheep first and let's get started. We're going to do the legs out of pipe cleaners. So it's really simple, really easy, get some pipe cleaners, cut the two legs and then we're going to wrap a white wool around them. You could, if you wanted to be um, really cheeky, not actually put the wool around the pipe cleaners, but you've got to be careful because the ends are a little bit sharp. But I personally like to cover them in a bit of wool. So wrap the wool round really, really tightly. With the pipe cleaner, the wool sticks to the pipe cleaner quite well, so that's why I use pipe cleaners and not wire. And then needle felt it a bit, and don't forget to do a bit of the magic rolling, which just helps smooth the edges. So here's the second one, wrapping it round, and the second one's all done. This is the body, so take a bit of a core base wool. Um, white is probably going to be best, and then just wrap it up tightly, and we're going to make an oblong shape. That needle I was using is a tri-needle, just because people do ask about it, and it just speeds things up. It's got three needles on it. So I'm just making the body a little bit firmer, and then I'm going to attach the legs. So take a bit of extra wool and attach the legs and you can actually needle felt into the leg part as well, into the, the wool that you've put on the pipe cleaner. So this makes the legs really secure and I think it's best to have some sort of pipe cleaners because they stand up really, really well rather than trying to make them without any wire at all in them. So this is attach, attaching the back legs. And then just needle felt it all down. It doesn't have to be super neat because we're going to put some wool locks over the top. There we go. And just firming up the tummy a little bit more. So this part here is the head. So wrap, take some wool and wrap it really tightly. And then you're going to sort of turn it into an oblongy shape or almost a cone shape. So the nose, uh, the point of the nose is the point of the cone. And I do like to firm up this face quite well, so spend a little bit of time on this. I always keep a little bit of fluff at the back to help me when I'm attaching it. And it's a lot easier when you're felting to have that little bit of fluff at the back there. So next we're going to do the mouth and nose. So take a little bit of a darker wool, preferably a black or a brown, and take a, take a tiny piece, roll it up into a straight line and attach it either side. And then above that, we're going to make a V shape. So take another piece of wool and make a V shape and attach that. And then attach the two with a line going straight down. I realise you can't see it very clearly there, but you'll see in a minute when I finish the shape of the sheep's face. And these are the eyes. So take two tiny little bits of black, roll them in your fingers and then needle felt them in. So the eyes and the mouth, it's all quite easy, but it gives character. So this is the ears and you're going to do them into almost a circle shape with a bit of fluff at the back and the fluff is what you hold on to and it helps you when you're attaching them to the head. So just needle felt nearly a whole circle and just do the edges fairly neatly and then these we will fold or pinch in half to give an ear shape and that's how they're going to go on the back of the head in a minute. I like to give my animals a little bit of a neck so just take a little bit of wool and make a little neck shape, it doesn't have to be huge. And then take the head and hold it in the position you want it in and start attaching it. If it's pointing up in the sky, it's quite easy, just hold it down and needle felt it down. And then I'm just attaching the ears at the back of the head. I like them not too high in the air, but it's up to you. You can hold them on and see what you think before you do it. So there's his little face. So these, this bit of wool that I'm using here is a curly Wensleydale lock if you wanted exactly the same thing. And I just bought it off Etsy. So you could use any type of wool you want. You could even use the wool that you'd use for the base and just attach it very loosely um, and do little circular marks with it. And you would get a very different effect, but it would still look like a sheep. So work with what you've got. So here we go, these locks, um, when they arrive, a little, sometimes the ends are a little bit dirty, so just trim off the very end bit and then just spread them out a little bit and it makes them quite easy to attach. 
I do um, a tutorial for the big sheep which is a full length a lot slower tutorial and it shows you how to do um, a, quite a large sheep the reason I would do these minis is because if you go to fairs or fates sometimes it's nice to have something in the lower price range I think when you do the big items they can take a couple of days to make and it's quite hard you know you have to ask a certain amount of money for them but these little ones I would sell them for about eight nine ten pounds they don't take me longer than 45 minutes to an hour to make so I think it's great for people to have that very variation in prices so he's nearly all done I've done all his back front uh, and sides I do put a tiny bit in his tummy in a minute just keep adding if there's any gaps or any bits that don't look fluffy enough you can just keep adding and then I also put a little bit on his head too because that's matching the big one that I've got so that's his tummy don't need much on the tummy not many people look underneath but so there we go a little bit more for the head and then he'll be all done he'll look great There we go. So there, he's all done and you can see his face and I even put a tiny bit of pink in the V of the nose. So onto the cow. Same thing, leg pipe cleaners. Um, again, they don't have to be exactly the colour that you're using but it would help if they are close to the colour that you're using. So this wool is a tops or a roving type wool I do a whole video on wools if you're confused about wools and explain it all to you, the difference between tops, carded, bats, all sorts of things. So this wool is longer and it's more combed out and it, it's fantastic for coats. It looks really, really good. So that's why I use it. So I've taken it because the legs I want to match the colour of the coat um, and I'm wrapping the pipe cleaners in this tops or roving. Try and make sure that the ends of the pipe cleaners um, aren't sharp, make sure you get a bit of wool on the end. There we go, just needle felt it, rolling towards you, needle felt, needle felt, and then give it a little roll between your hands and it just sort of smooths it over quite nicely. And then bend them into shape shape, a uh, leg shape. <laughs> one and then the other one I've done too. So this is the body. I've used a core wool just because I've got it. Notice how I'm holding it with another needle. It helps you not to stab yourself. These minis are a recipe for stabbing because some of the bits are so small you're, you end up holding it right there where your needle felting so do be a bit careful. And then I am using up this old wool and just covering the body so that I think the white would be too bright underneath the main wool just in case and this is old wool I've got which I'm, I, I don't didn't really like this for a Highland cow color it was too bright so I'm just using it up it's perfect to go underneath you'll see in a bit my minis the more I make the bigger they get so you could make this one a little bit smaller than this but I have an issue my minis just keep getting bigger <laughs> so so attach the legs exactly the same as the sheep really easy really cute and then do the neck same exactly the same theory you could do this with any of the animals you want um, a herdwick sheep would look lovely unfortunately my herdwick's been sold I had a lovely herdwick so um, yeah just uh, adapt it to whatever sheep you're doing so this is the head and the head's got to be in the correct color so again it's the same sort of shape, um, oblong and leave a little bit of fluff at the end and I needed to make it a little bit bigger and a bit neater on the nose. The roving is slightly harder to get neater um, but you can do it, it's, it's not impossible. So make it nice and neat, there we go and next we're going to do the little nose or mus nostrils on the front, I think it's nice to add detail. Don't actually do any eyes the Highland cow because he's covered with hair. So this is a tiny bit of pink, you could use a light brown, you could even use a white, what, you just use what you've got and make it into a little circle, almost sort of oval, oblong, 
and attach it to the end of the nose, check it's in the right place, have a little look. I sort of tack around the edge of these really gently, check it's in the right bit and then do all, go through the middle a bit, but you don't, you don't need to needle felt it loads. So this is the nostrils, so take a darker colour, tiny little ball, roll it up and then attach it in, very quick, very easy. And here's the next one beside it. And there you go. So no eyes, and that's it. So attach the head. I'm off again, where am I going? Oh, horns. So the horns are important. Again, you, you don't have to use pipe cleaners in the horns, but I think it's nice because you can really bend them and shape them afterwards. So get your white wool or whatever color cream wool you're doing. Check for any bits because they'll really show. And then do some really tight twisting all the way around. Like I said, it grips really easily with the pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are so cheap, they're literally a couple of pounds. And then needle felt all the way through. Try a needle felt along it rather than down. If you need a felt downwards, then you get bits sticking out the other side. So I try and needle felt along it a bit more. Just had to cover up the end there because the wire was sticking out and I don't like the wire sticking out. So there we go. Roll between the fingers and you've got yourself some horns. Take a bit of wool. I'm using my uh, coat again that I'm going to have at the final bit and put it over the top of the horn, front and back where you want it to be on the head and then secure it. And then take the head and secure it to the neck. So I do a lot of upside down work securing the head to the neck. It really, really helps with the downward motion. Don't worry too much about the horns because you can re-bend them into the correct shape afterwards. And then here we go with the final coat. So take a strand or a clump and halfway through the middle, needle felt it into the sheep, um, the cow, and then fold it backwards. Uh, I do a, a PDF on this cow actually, the large size, and it's got over 150 photos. It's on my shop, Felts by Philippa. Um, and you can purchase that but a lot of my coats that I do for my sheep in the other videos this is how you do it so you needle felt it through the middle and then fold it down and that gives a nice coat effect under the neck go right up into the base of the neck there and then fold it down so you won't see any of your joins and Highland cows have got a nice top line straight line up the middle of the back so Make sure you try and get that. I had to do a bit more across the back. He wasn't fluffy enough for me. The fluffier, the better. You can always um, squash him in a bit rather than you can't make him fluffier. So the more, more is better than less. And then I'm trimming the bottoms just because it was quite long. And now we're gonna do the head. So go in just behind the horns and then you're gonna fold the back bit forwards over the head. So this is gonna be all of his um, face. It all gets covered up. And then take either side of that down by the side of the horns. You need to trim this a little bit shorter around the face. And then I took two of the back bits and just moved them either side. And then it wasn't fluffy enough, so I added another bit more in a minute. It's really easy to just keep adding a bit more until you're happy. So there you go, I did a little bit more because he just his head didn't look round enough and then very gentle needle felting down. And there he is. So I trim him up again, again at, the, at the bottoms and I do an upward movement with the scissors so it doesn't look so straight. It's a bit bitty to get all the bits out, but works well. And then any bits that are too fluffy, you just needle felt in. So there we go, marvelous minis. They're really simple, really easy. These are my minis that keep getting bigger. So it's very hard to keep them mini. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, I hope you've really enjoyed it, um, I'm making many more videos, and you know, good luck with what you make, and happy felting everybody, thanks for watching, bye!